Daddy. Oh, it's lovely to see you. Oh, look at all this green sitting as well. You're so impressive. It's really nice. Right, so boys and girls, 1P have joined us this time for my assembly. And I think it was last week I said to Miss Poulter, I wonder if your children can help me in my assembly because I want to talk about bullying and behaviour. And, and Mrs Poulter said, absolutely, my children know lots and lots and lots about that. So we're going to do some work on it and we'll make some posters and things. So today, 1P um, are going to share their work. So who would like to start? Right, so first off, we were thinking about our lanyards, weren't we? And how to stay safe in our classrooms. So, are you ready, Isaac? Do you want to show everybody which lanyard you've got on? Stand up. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, we've got Isaac with his black lanyard. And can you tell us, what does that mean? That means that you can keep everybody safe. You keep everybody safe. And who wears that black lanyard? Mr. Johnson and Mrs. Halliday. Do you want to show your pictures of Mr. Johnson and Mr. Hall and Mrs. Halliday? Oh, oh, could you yeah. could you bring those pictures near the camera so we can see them? I, I think Mrs. Halliday is going to be particularly impressed with the hairstyle. Loads of fabulous. <laughs> so you're quite right. Um, me and Mrs. Halliday wear a black lanyard because we're responsible for keeping everybody safe. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Poulter. Now, Freddie, what colour have you got on? Do you want to stand up? You've got a red lanyard on, haven't you? And what what do you do if you see somebody who's got a red lanyard on? Tell somebody. Tell somebody because are those are those people happy to walk around our school without anybody there? No, so you're quite right, you tell a grown-up, don't you, if you see somebody on their own with a red lanyard on? <laughs> what would I do without you? You're fabulous. Yes, absolutely. So an adult with a red lanyard doesn't know how to keep us all safe. They need help because they're new to our school. So if you see somebody with a red lanyard, yeah, tell a member of staff and they will help them. Thank you. That's brilliant. Oh, I think we've got one more lanyard to go, haven't we? We have indeed. Do you want to stand up the yarnet? What colour is your lanyard? Blue. It's a blue lanyard, and what does that mean? It means everybody needs to be not. We know how to keep you safe, good girl, don't we? That's brilliant, of course. So, anybody in a blue lanyard, it might be a member of staff or a visitor. They know how to keep you and everybody safe, so they're fine. They don't need an adult with them. Well done. Um, I'm going to give you a clap for that because I think that was amazing. Can we give a, a clap to our children? Well done, one p That's fabulous. You've learned about that. Great. Oh, right, Mrs. Coulter. So have we got some posters and some work to share? We have indeed. So we've been looking about, uh, finding out about anti-bullying, haven't we? And at first we thought, why don't we think about what bullying actually is, didn't we? Because we said sometimes someone might get hurt on the playground and they say, oh, I'm being bullied. But it's only happened once. Can you stand up then, those people, with your um, posters and tell us what is bullying so we don't get confused? Do you want to call you names? Yes, yeah, sometimes if someone calls you names. Um, not sharing. Um. Good boy. Dominic said that it happened several times on purpose. Big boy says, if someone hurts their feelings. Someone hurts your feelings. Dotty? Yeah, if somebody's standing and laughing and watching that bullying happen, they're part of the problem too. You were saying, weren't you? Fabulous. And then we thought about what could we do to fix it, didn't we? If we saw bullying happening, what could we do to fix it? 
Tell them funny jokes. <laughs> Tell them funny jokes. They thought they'd cheer their friend up if they saw their friend getting in a bit of trouble, didn't you? Stand up to the bully. Good boy. Stand up to the bully. And you said, Isaac, to tell them to... Stop. Stop, didn't Take you? Take them to a fun place. Take them to a fun place. And what else do you need to do? Tell a grown up. up. Thank you, my lovelies. Do you want to show your picture? You might not be able to see them, but you'll have a good go at showing your posters. If I hold them up like this, you might be able to oh. see them a little Look bit. Look at that <laughs> writing. I am so impressed. And um, perhaps, Miss Poulter, you could take some pictures and we'll put them on Facebook. Absolutely. It was oh. so tricky. It's Look so tricky. They all had a brilliant, brilliant go. Oh, they did. And some really important messages. Oh, look at this. I am so impressed with each and every one of you there with your work. And it's such an important thing when you said that it's several times on purpose. And then you had all those strategies of how to deal with it. So, yes, that's very important. Miss, Mrs. Bolton, you've done me proud here. These children. <laughs> Absolutely fabulous. And then the one final thing we did talk about, sometimes they might get hurt just once by accident in the playground or as part of the game. And what did we say you need to do? Tell a grown-up at playtime or at lunchtime or if it happens in the classroom. If you're worried about something or something's happened to you, you need to... Tell someone. Tell someone. <laughs> Fabulous. Oh, well, every boy and girl in this school will see this message um, and they will hopefully learn from you that that's what we need to do if they didn't know it already. And also the important message about the lanyards as well. So I, I have to say, Mrs. Bolter, I think this has been an absolutely wonderful assembly, but so important as well. The messages from your children who look like they're ready just to step into year two now. I can't believe how grown up they are. Super proud of them every day, Mr. Johnson. I really am. Oh, you should be. You should be. You've all worked so hard. Um, can I just share something with you that's nothing to do with any of that? I just want to share it because I know you like gossip in one P, don't you? <laughs> it was a joke, you're up. <laughs> <wrong. laughs> I wanted to share with you my tie. Can you see it? Oh, it disappeared. There it is. Can you see what's on it? Ben thinks it's a turkey. turkey. <laughs> Close. Chicken. Has anyone worked it out, Miss Pelter? No, we've got that. Oh, someone did that. Go on, Ben. A pheasant. A pheasant. It is. Oh yeah, well I love these. They, um, I see them a lot when I go into the countryside, and I thought, I wonder if one peered like my tie today, so I put it on specially for you. Do you like it? Do you give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, I got like my thumbs up. Oh, what would I do without you? <laughs> my fans. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, 1P, for that incredibly wonderful assembly, that hard work and those important messages. And I know you've got your PE lesson now, haven't you? And the sun's shining, so you'll have a lovely session, I'm sure. Right then, until next time, everybody, should we say a big bye and a wave? Bye! bye. See you next time! <laughs>